Hello and welcome to Wealthy Women's Wednesdays. This Wednesday is all about raising your rates. I am so excited for this topic. This is one of the most important topics, wouldn't you agree? So if you can't hear me, just click the microphone at the bottom of the screen. If you can't hear me, just click the microphone. And for this Wealthy Women's Wednesday, we are going to support you to raise your rates. I'm gonna tell you my three favorite strategies for raising your rates so that people will pay you more and value you more for what it is that you do. And it starts, as you know, with you valuing yourself. But there's actually some strategy tips and some mindset tips that we need to get you today. And I am holding up my very well-blessed $100 bill because at one of our recent team retreats, we did a money blessing with $100 bills. And for those of you that are coming to our Women Rocking Business Live three-day March event, we are going to do a money blessing as well. Maybe not with $100 bills, but you're welcome to bring one. My $100 bill, can you see it's been blessed with family and joy? and love and flow. And this is a really great practice to carry around a $100 bill in your wallet so that you always feel like you have money and you don't spend it. And that way, anytime you ever see something that costs about 100 bucks, in your mind all day long, you can be like, I could have that, I could have that, I could have that, right? Because one of the most important mindset shifts to get into in order to move into more wealth is to actually start to train yourself that it's safe to have money, it's safe to have excess. We've got to get you exerting your havingness muscle, right? Um, you know, there's a, there's a saying that says, wealthy people don't say the word or. Wealthy people say the word and because they know if they want to, they could have this and they can have this, or they could have this and they can have this, which is one of the purposes of the $100 bill in your wallet exercise. It's like training yourself to feel like I could, I can have it all. Um, even if, if you're in a position right now where, you know, just like realistically, you can't buy everything, um, we want you to get in that mindset of what it feels like when you can, because that's a vibration. And as we get you reaching for that vibration, you can get closer and closer to that level of um, money in your bank account, extra dollars in your account, so that you can walk away with that feeling of havingness, to so just breathe into that feeling of like, there's more than enough for me. So let's talk about you actually charging more. Let's talk about you raising your rates. Because when you're not charging what you're worth, you're undervaluing yourself and we risk you running out of the money and the passion to get your business where it needs to be so that you can keep doing this and sustain this and so that you can give back to the world in all of the ways that you'll be able to when your business has reached a certain level of success. So my first question to you is to please post on the chat below what comes up when you think about charging more money? Like what comes up when you think about raising your rates? For some of you, you're just getting started so you don't really have rates yet. You're like, I don't know, Sage, what are my rates? Um, what comes up when you start thinking about having a really generous dollar amount that you receive when you give your gift? What comes up? Because you have a business not a hobby, okay? You wouldn't be here if you just had a hobby. So, I have another question for you. I'm curious, who gives you the right to charge more? Who? Who gives you that right to charge more money? Pop quiz! <laughs> it's you, right? So, goddess, think about this. The more we invest in our own self-value, the more people value the investment they make in themselves when they hire us. I wanna say that again a little bit a different way, right? If you're not charging enough, it's going to be difficult for people to take you seriously, right? Have you ever noticed that people who charge more like just sort of elicit even more respect. It's like they're valuing their time. So 
You've got to be willing to take yourself seriously. And that's the number one tip to raise your rates. Write this down. Ultimately, people are going to respect those who charge more. And not only, I'm not saying just like inflate your rates and just charge more randomly. What I'm saying is be willing to actually build out the services, the programs, the products that warrant you charging more so that people take you more seriously. Does that make sense? Sorry, that was kind of a backwards way of saying that. Here's, here's what I want you to write down. Number one tip to raise your rates, add value, respect yourself enough to know that when you add value and you raise your rates to what feels really exciting inside of you to receive in exchange for what you're offering, people are gonna respect you more, okay? So add value and respect yourself, right? And we just naturally are going to respect ourselves when we create a program, product, or service that we would buy. Ask yourself, would I buy this? Would I spend this much money on this program, on this product? Is the value actually there? Because when you're out there sharing your rates with people, we've got to remember like that's their hard earned money. Those are their hard earned dollars that you're asking them to invest. And that's why, you know, why not go the extra mile to create the best program, product, or service possible? Now, I don't mean hide behind your computer forever and create amazing content that you never sell because I know some of you might be guilty of that. I know I was, I have a bunch of clients who are, where it's like they have these workbooks and these handouts and they've done, they've fallen into this pattern of what I call creating content in a closet. And the problem with that is that you're creating all this great content that you think people are gonna want, but nobody's interacting with it. Nobody's giving you feedback. So, if you know you sometimes do that, it's so important that you guys go out there and get clients, get beta clients. You know, I don't even care how much they're charging you at your first, just make sure that you're working with somebody, right, in exchange for a testimonial. By the way, that's a great tip. That's a super hot tip for beginners. If you don't know where to start and you haven't had paying clients yet, go get a couple of clients who you're working with pro bono for free in exchange for them giving you a hot testimonial for your marketing materials because you're gonna need those testimonials to start raising your rates. But if you've already worked with a couple of pro bono clients, don't keep doing that. You gotta start charging, okay? Add value, be willing to take yourself more seriously, and what's gonna happen is people are gonna take you more seriously because you're putting a certain dollar amount on your programs that is in alignment and elicits your belief in the transformation that you're providing. That you're willing to go the extra mile for people who actually hire you, right? Because if you're not making enough money, it's gonna be, you're gonna feel bitter and burnt out. We've gotta get you feeling well compensated so that you can show up juiced up and ready to go and ready to change lives. So I really need to know, you guys, I know some of you are hiding out behind your computer screens or your phones right now, post on the comment section below. These are interactive uh, transmissions that we do every Wednesday for we Wealthy Women's Wednesday. I need to know what is in the way of you charging more. What comes up when you think about charging more? Post below, is it that you look out in the world and you don't see people charging what you really wanna charge? Is it that you are stuck in like a yoga paradigm or a Qigong paradigm or a dancer paradigm where people are used to paying $15 a class for yoga or dance, you know? We've gotta get you out of some of those paradigms where people aren't used to actually paying what you're worth, right? We've gotta actually get you leading with the result so people are willing to put down the money to pay you well for the service that you're providing. Okay, so number one tip to raise your rates, add value, and in that adding value, really respect yourself because that's going to elicit the success of others, which brings me to the number two tip to raise your rates, and that is to stair-step your prices. Because let's think about it, like, you're not ready when you're first starting out to go out there potentially and charge 
a thousand dollars a month, right? I, I highly encourage you to choose a rate that feels exciting, but somewhat realistic, and then stair step your rates and be willing to raise your prices maybe once or twice a month. Maybe you raise your price between every couple of clients that hire you, right? There's no reason that you can't raise your rates as you get more comfortable having clients hire you and working with clients. You're gonna find that you're holding a lot of space for your clients. They may be reaching out in between sessions. You're preparing for the sessions that you're doing with them. And that's why I recommend that you stair step your prices, right? That you start with something realistic but exciting Okay, write that down. That's the phrase I want you to go for when you're trying to decide what to charge. It's, it's exciting, like it pushes you, it stretches you a little bit, but it's not such a stretch that you fly out of your body when you say the, when you say the number, right? Because write this down. We need to make sure that you're able to share your rates in the same way that you would say, please pass the salt, right? You can't be like, yeah, so I charge $875 a month, right? <laughs> People would be like, what are you talking about? I'll tell you what, really great starting rates when you're in the mentorship field, whether you're a health coach, a relationship coach, a career coach, a purpose clarity coach, or a relationship mentor, or a health mentor of some kind, a really great starting rate is anywhere between $297 a month and $497 a month. Okay, write that down. Those are That's a great range for most of you. $297 per month all the way up to $497 per month. And then you put together a six month program that allows people to pay you over time. Don't charge per session. And if you've been making most of your money, by charging per session, I'm not saying you have to change that all at once, right? That might be your bread and butter. You might make the, pri the, like the, the, the majority, your primary source of income is people paying you for one-off sessions. You don't have to change that overnight. But month by month, I invite you to, every time you get new clients, put them on a six-month commitment explain the value of your services in terms of a six month transformation. Because let's be honest, you can't change people's lives. You can't make some of the big changes that you wanna be able to make with your clients in just one or two sessions. And if you are providing that level of a breakthrough in just one or two sessions, I invite you to really consider what are the breakthroughs that people can have if they keep working with you longer term. Because what that does is it allows you to share your monthly rates and set your monthly rates, again, as monthly rates. Rather than charging $3,000 for a coaching package, you can charge $497 a month for six months. Super hot, right? Because that way, you're creating recurring revenue for yourself. You're creating a way that people pay you every month and you get to rest into the sustainability of having a certain amount of money coming in every month. So let's talk a little bit about stair-stepping your prices. There's a couple of ways to calculate what you should charge if you're still kind of at a loss and you're like, Sage, just, I don't know what to charge, right? There's a couple of ways to think about this. The first way is to consider and ask yourself, let's see if I have a pen around here. Hold on, I'm coming right back. Consider, if you haven't already, how much do you wanna make per month, right? What's like the amount of income that you need per month to feel like this business is sustainable for you? A lot of you have told me that you wanna be able to make about $5,000 a month, right? Like a lot of you are like, Sage, if I could just be making five grand a month, I would be able to rest easy. I would be able to basically like, know that I can pay the bills. So let's say you've got, you're going for $5,000 a month coming in and that's where I started. I just knew if I could make five grand a month as a coach, then I would prove to myself that I could leave my part-time job, have some recurring revenue and breathe. I knew I could pay my bills. Some of you guys need $10,000 a month to pay your bills, especially those of you that live in California. <laughs> 
Um, and let's just say that you would be comfortable with, let's say 12 clients. You're willing to serve about 12 clients. Well, what you're gonna do with your numbers is you're basically gonna do simple division, right? $5,000 a month divided by 12 clients. Well, that's gonna be, I'm gonna round my numbers so that I get a nice approximation. That's gonna be about, dun 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 dun, da 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 da. It's about $416 a month, which isn't a great rate. So let's say that you charge $397 a month. Well, $397 a month is gonna get you a base level of $4,800 a month, approximately, right? I mean, this is sage math, by the way. I'm not an accountant. <laughs> so, goddesses, this is a great starting rate for you, for a lot of you, $3.97 a month. There's something about saying $2.97, $3.97, $4.97 that actually resonates with people. We've done split testing on this. We've actually kind of like gone out and tested different rates. And people like rates that end in a seven. I don't know why, it's just human psychology. There's also something about when you like type these rates out on a piece of paper when you're describing your package and then you put the price at the bottom, right? There's something about the seven that's like sleek and skinny and kind of sexy, right? It's skinnier than a nine. So. $3.97 a month might be a great place for you to start. You're going for 12 clients. That's gonna give you your base income for the month. And if you need more, you charge $4.97 a month, right? Or you charge $6.97 a month. But the thing is, is that what happens is we get into this mindset of like, oh my God, I need clients. How many clients do I need? I don't know how many clients I need. I need a ton of clients. What am I gonna do? Blah, 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 blah. And we spin out. <laughs> Please. Type below if you can relate to that. It's so common. It's like the number one thing that we do when we get into a tizzy in our businesses, we spin out, okay? It's the number one thing I see my beginning entrepreneurs really struggling with is they're, they're training themselves not to spin. Well, one of the ways that you break the spin cycle is you actually know what you're going for. You have a plan. I need this many clients paying me this month a month and that's what that's what I'm going for. Now, let's say some clients come in and they're like, I can't pay you $3.97 a month, but I could pay you $2.97 a month and you really wanna work with them. And you're like, okay, great, they're gonna get a deal. And then maybe you're like, okay, I'm gonna need 13 clients instead of 12. You know, this is an equation. This is oftentimes not exactly what happens because you're gonna have your first two clients and then you're gonna have one client because one of them didn't work out. And then you're gonna have five clients because you did a speaking engagement and then you're gonna have four because another one didn't work out or she disappeared and I can't get a hold of her. And then you're gonna do another speaking engagement and you're gonna have nine clients and then you're gonna have seven because two of them are gonna complete, right? Like that's kind of how it's gonna go. <laughs> like, just so you guys know, I'm the business mentor that's not gonna like sugar and rainbow coat every single thing that you're gonna do in business because it's not always gonna happen exactly the way you think it's going to. But when you're willing to have that vision of where you're going, what you want, you're going for those 12 clients, all I need is 12. God, there's millions of people out there. In fact, there's billions of people out there. And all I'm looking for are the 12 people that I can help. It can alleviate a lot of the stress. And now you're telling the universe exactly what it is that you want and you keep asking, Where's my next client? Where could I find those 12 people, right? And what happens is answers come, ideas come, because you're rising up to be the person that the universe needs you to be to make the difference that you're here to make. So that, my lovey loves, is number two tip to stair step your prices and then to consider what you wanna make per month and how many people you wanna serve and just do simple math. Like, what if the universe actually wanted to provide what it is that you need to be the channel for the gift that the universe is actually wanting you to give? Like, what if it was actually that simple? And then run that rate. Like, if you choose 397, if you choose 597, if you choose 697, run that rate through the test of, is this rate exciting but realistic? Can I say it? 
in the way that I would say, please pass the salt. That naturally. And if you feel a little nervous to say it, if you, if you know right now, like I'm probably not gonna be able to say it that smoothly, Sage, gosh, you make it sound really good. My assignment to you is to practice. Grab a practice buddy, head over to the Women Rocking Business Sisterhood page and ask who wants to practice, you know, sharing our rates, who wants to practice, you know, the selling conversation with each other. Like practice, practice, practice. I used to practice in the shower. All right, so number one tip to raise your rates is to always be willing to add value so that you're selling something that you feel great about. Number two tip is to stair step your prices. Be willing to raise your rates between every client if you need to, and then charge something that's exciting but realistic. And the last tip, the final tip, drum roll please, is to see your clients as resourced. I know it's very easy to decide for somebody that they can't afford it, or they tell you right away in the conversation that they're struggling with money and something happens in your mind where you're like, oh, they probably can't afford to hire me. I know that's happened to many of you. What we all have to remember is that people's excuses are oftentimes around money and that might have nothing to do with the amount of money they have in their bank account. I actually have talked to clients of mine that hired me who told me, yeah, I really can't afford a business coach but they had half a million dollars sitting in their retirement account. And when we really got down to it and we got down to what it is that they really wanted to create in their life, they were like, yeah, I could probably pull, pull 10 grand out of my retirement account, <laughs> right? People will walk around saying they have no money and what does that really mean? It could mean they have tens of thousands of dollars in their account. And for some of them, they really have no money, like they really are at zero. And for some of them, they're in debt. And for some of you, you can relate to this, maybe you're in debt too. So first of all, don't run any shame around that. Get out of the shame, you're not your numbers in the bank account. Second of all, if you do have debt, that means that points to the fact that you're a risk taker, you're resourceful. You know that zero is not zero. You've been willing to stretch a little bit. Get over it, stop worrying about it. But what we need to do is we need to get you having one place where the numbers are going up. You gotta have at least one bank account where the numbers are going up. You're always depositing money in to that bank account. You've got one account, at least one account that's growing as you're also paying down your debt, okay? So for your clients, for your potential clients who are telling you they can't afford it, see them as fully resourced. Write that down. You wanna see your clients as whole and resourceful because the truth is, is they might not have any money but maybe they have a mom that would be glad to lend them the money if that mom knows that they're serious about making the transformation that you're here to help provide for them, right? Maybe they have a husband that would gladly loan them the money. Maybe they have a husband that's a little skeptical because they've already invested in themselves several times, right? I'm not above empowering my potential client to go talk to their husband about the change that they're actually committed to making because of this investment, right? Don't be afraid to coach this person through that limiting belief that they might have that they can't afford it because write this down. People don't buy because of how much money is in their bank account. They buy if they have an emotional reason to buy. You've got to give them and you've got to help them get clear on that emotional reason to buy. Because how many times have you come up with money that you didn't think you had, hello, right? Your people will come up with the money if they want the transformation badly enough, okay? So get curious, be bold, be willing to get vulnerable with your potential clients and let them know that you've been there, you know where they're at, you've been in the negative yourself, right? And then get curious with them, what, this is a great question, what would it be worth it to you to find the money to invest in a course like this? Like what would you wanna get out of it, right? What would make it worth it to you? What would you wanna get out of it if you did find the money to invest in a course like this? Because right? when I ask you that question, I'm not seeing you as somebody who's broken and who can't get the money together. I'm seeing you as somebody who's resourceful and whole and creative. And yeah, if you are gonna hustle around and pull the money together to invest in yourself through my services, 
I want to know what you're going to get out of it, what you need to get out of it, what would actually, what would it require for you to do that extra work to come up with the money, right? Such an important question because whatever it is that you're really wanting to get out of it, now I get to let you know, I think we can create that for you or maybe not. Maybe at that point you start to realize that this person has unreasonable expectations of what you can give and what you can't. But write that down, that's like a million dollar question. What would you need to get out of this in order to make it worth the investment? All right, goddesses, that's what I got for Wealthy Women's Wednesday. I also have a surprise announcement, just like it shared in the comment section for this video. We are opening up 25 free tickets. This is, we've never done this before. This is very exciting. We're opening up 25 free tickets for Wealthy Women's Wednesday participants only for a limited time, first come first serve, to our Women Rocking Business live event in March. Some of you already have a ticket and you haven't even registered it because you bought the book and some of you already have it in your calendar and I can't wait to give you a hug. But Wealthy Women Wednesday are <laughs> wealthy, wealthy women from Wealthy Women's Wednesday are eligible, that's a tug twister, you're eligible to come to our three-day live event on a totally free ticket, first come, first serve, for the first 25 of you only. Now there are over 12,000 of you registered in our system as wealthy women for our Wednesday videos. And we only have 25 tickets, so if you wanna come, go snap one up now, because I'll tell you what, they're gonna be gone within 24 hours probably. All you have to do is click on the link below this video, okay? Click on the link below this video, and grab a ticket to come join us for our three-day event. It's in the beginning of March. It's on the California coast right here in Santa Cruz, California. And at that event, I'm gonna give you the entire framework for the conversation that you'll have with a potential client. I teach what I call my grow model. I'm teaching all of my I can't afford it tips this year. And I've added a bunch of new content so that you can actually step into what I call authentic sales, where you get to totally be you and you get to sell the shit out of your services. Excuse my French. So I'm gonna teach you my whole grow model for authentic selling. We're gonna help you rock sales so that you always have the ability to sit down in front of a handful of people, have a conversation with them whenever you need clients, and at least half those people, at least 50% of those people, turn in to paying clients. We're gonna give you the exact formula to do that. And it's experiential, it's very experiential. It's why we need you there in person. Because you're gonna be interacting with and practicing this material with other women in the room. You're also going to get my three love-based launch plans. These are the three launch plans that I use to take my company to a million dollars. They're exactly the plans that I used and we just give those to you. So you gotta come. The first day is all about mastering your message. The second day is all about mastering your money. And the third day is all about mastering your marketing. I have incredible speakers this year. Check out the page, just check out the page, just check out the details. I know I'm asking a lot. I know some of you are sitting there being like, fly to California, get a hotel room. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Expensive, expensive, expensive. I'm here to tell you, what if this is the moment that you didn't let that story run you and you decided to let another story run you, which is how could I? How could I go be with over 500 of my fellow entrepreneurial sisters? Because we can see almost 500 women in this event and the women who are flying in from all over the world. We already have women participating from over 16 countries coming in from all over the world. And they're, this, oh, I do this every year. And can you tell it's just like, it's like an entrepreneurial rite of passage. It's like, it's like the moment that you step into the next evolution of your business. And for some of you, you're stepping into your business really in some ways for the first time. So grab a ticket Well, tickets last. We're almost 90% sold out for the event because we put so many tickets out there because of my book launch this year. So goddesses, grab your ticket by clicking the link below, check out the details, suspend your disbelief, suspend your resistance, 
and consider joining us at Women Rocking Business Live so we can help you completely rock your business this year at a whole new level alongside the other women who are rising up together. The theme of Women Rocking Business Live is women rising. Women going together because a rising tide lifts all boats. So be one of those women who makes her business a priority this year because when you get your business going, you get the money coming in, doing what you love, everything else about your life gets easier and a heck of a lot more fun. So I can't wait to see you at Women Rocking Business Live. Click on the link below, clear your schedule. I know that it's work. I know you're gonna exert some effort to get here, but I promise I will make it worth your time. I promise I will give you the most value-packed, inspirational, and content-rich three days that you've ever had at an event like this. We love you and we bless you and we'll see you next week for Women Wealthy Wednesdays. <laughs> Wealthy Women's Wednesdays because your clients are waiting for you. They're not just waiting for someone like you. They're actually waiting for you. Mwah. I'll see you in March. Grab your ticket. By the way, my team just reminded me. It's a $100 seat deposit. It's fully refundable. We're going to give you that $100 back at the door. Okay? So just grab your ticket. We need to know you're serious about coming. We are gonna charge you hundred bucks, but we will give it back to you at the door. First 25 of you only. And, just, and I just saw a couple of notifications. A couple of you have already hopped in just from this video. So hop in, hop in, grab your ticket, and we'll see you there.